contour lines, as discussed, as you go across a valley, will point up towards the top of the hill, or as we say, V upstream. Now, because when you, um, in loose sediment like sand, as we have in this box, the sand reaches a stable um, angle called the angle of repose. And this is the same as true when a river is eroding a um, loose sediment on the land surface. In those cases, the river valleys tend to have the same gentle sides and there's no pronounced um, steeper region. So a river valley classically forms what we call a V shape and that's the idea that when you're looking at it um, in cross section, it would have evenly spaced sides all the way down and back up on the other side, like the letter V. Glaciers, on the other hand, when they erode, tend to erode through very hard rocky material and will end up forming very steep sides with flat bottoms. If you imagine that in profile, that more closely resembles the letter U. So a glacial valley with steep sides, closely spaced contours on the edges, remember closely spaced contours, means steep. So steep sides, more even uh, spread out contours at the bottom, suggesting more flat or gentle regions, would look like the letter U. So glacial valleys, steep sides, flat bottom, the letter U. River valleys, evenly spaced contours, both on the sides and in the bottom, forming like the letter V. A river valley is V-shaped and a glacial valley is U-shaped.